Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Chiminari. Dear journalists, I am no longer making you content for free. I have a job to do. I have a war in my country. Sorry. The fact that any journalist would ask somebody in a war-torn country to work for free is absolutely appalling and they need to rethink their line of work. This next one is by Puddock. Hey, I'm Red with Beggars. We'd love to share this video. Did you record it yourself? If you did, we would love to exclusively license it. We'll tag your account anytime it's shared on our network of pages. We own at here, at here, at here, and much more on Instagram, plus channels across YouTube and Snapchat. If you are interested, please go ahead and submit the highest quality original version of the video you have to this link. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Upload link to their company. Sends link. You can share it with credit, but not exclusively. I'm not interested in licensing this one out. I recorded it myself, etc. Unfortunately, we're only able to post content we've exclusively licensed. <laughs> Okay, usually they pay me. The fact that they're only willing to pay for content exclusively licensed to them says a lot about what kind of business model or whatever the hell kind of model they have going. This next one is from Bell Dawn. Is anyone practicing photography and free tomorrow at 11 a.m. for a wedding shoot? Well, it would be quite a coincidence if someone was practicing photography for free tomorrow at 11 a.m. for your wedding shoot. If you want a service, pay for it. This next one is by Three Kids in the Trench Coat. How can I get Wi-Fi for free at a hotel in a major western city that wants to charge me $25 a day to use it? What should my reaction to management be? Is there a way to approach this so they provide it to me for free? Go down to the front desk. It helps if a manager happens to be there at the time, though it's not required. Ask them the following questions in order. The polite start. Hi, I tried to connect to the Wi-Fi, but it's asking me to pay $25. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm already paying this much per night. Is there any way you can waive that? If they say no, it's policy or some BS like that, it's time to make a jab. Oh, no problem. Is there a Starbucks near here? I'm going to use their Wi-Fi there so I can book a room at another hotel. And when I come back, you can cancel the rest of my stay here at the front desk, right? This should make them all, oh no, please don't leave us. If it doesn't, it's time to show you weren't bluffing. Okay, no problem. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Actually, make that 30. I'll need a little longer to write a negative review about this hotel online. You'll need my ID and credit card to process the cancellation, right? Okay, beggar. What happens when they call your bluff? And they basically say, okay, and process your room cancellation, and then leave you asked out because, somehow, you didn't have another room lined up because, uh, uh what, you were bluffing? This next one is from Zone Blue 6 Looking for reliable babysitter, Farrakaway. Hello, I'm looking for a babysitter to watch my 14-month-old son from Monday through Thursday, alternating Friday and Saturday from the hours of 8 to 4.30. You will need to travel to my home in Fair Ockaway, Queens, so it would probably be best that you drive. I need you to be reliable. Also good at cleaning as he takes a few naps throughout the day so you would be cleaning during this time. I'm paying $300 off the books to start. If interested, please leave a message with your work experience. I mean, you're paying $300 a week for, what, pretty much full-time work, and you want them to clean your house on top of it? The least you could do is clean your own shit. Especially when your pay is shit. This next one is by Crackpot Potato. Are you selling Pixel 4a? Hey, yes I am. Sorry, I can't currently talk on the phone. Okay, is your phone for sale or no? Just let me know. I'm actually leaving tomorrow early morning. Can you meet tonight? My budget is 320 The phone is for sale, yeah, but that price is way too low. Sorry. 
How come? Phone is listed for 375. Someone offered to sell a 4G Pixel 4 for 250 and he's located on here. Since I'm leaving tomorrow, I couldn't make the deal because I'm in here. My final deal is 320. Okay, just because he's selling his for that price doesn't mean I have to sell mine for that price. No deal. Have a good evening. It is 4G, not 5G. There isn't much difference. You even smashed this phone and replaced LCD display. In your ad says you dropped this phone and it cracked. No it doesn't? My ad says it's like brand new. Nothing about the phone has been replaced or broken. How long did you use it? 340 is the top is can do. Otherwise, I can't more than this. It was my partner's for only a few months while she decided between it and an iPhone. Ultimately, kept using her iPhone. I'm sorry, I can't accept lower than 375. Kijiji average price is 350, so I can't go beyond 349. So I can't go beyond 349. 340? And I can't go below 375. Find an ad selling one for 350 and buy that one. Yes, I will do. Great, have a good evening. I hope they are jackasses like you. <laughs> Fuck your partner. I don't care why you tell people about this shit. Maybe they're telling you because you're coming in claiming that their ad stated something that it didn't, trying to put falsities into their ad where the falsities didn't even exist outside of inside of your own head. This next one is from The Harbinker. $400, 20 by 9 Dodge Charger Wheels. That is a long way from DC, DMV. I was thinking if you take $100, that would cover for gas, and you know how much gas is now. I'll come by and buy them, buddy. Offering a quarter of what they're asking is absolutely insulting, so I'm not really shocked this beggar ended up on Reddit. This next one is by DG Wayne one While these pants were color size I was shopping, I read through your other legal statements and felt slapped in the face and kicked out the door. To reach your demand of payment within 24 hours of purchase or I will report you. The norm given, I've been shopping eBay for over 10 years, is 3 days because most people have lives and computers don't give us a recurring constant alarm in the PC to alert us to such things as purchase choice payment due situations. I'm spending this time conveying to you my experience with your sales page in hopes you will study how your militant warlike unreasonable demands on shoppers will do exactly that. Take the face you slapped and walk out your sales page and store door. For the hesitation that your threat to report someone to eBay as if they had no intention to pay for a $20 pair of pants of which are probably about 50 or other black medium wide leg women's pants available at this time on eBay. I doubt those who read your aggressive threat will want to risk being mislabeled by you and given bad marks on eBay customer buyer account record. I always give high feedback stars on every line when sellers give good service and products. I try to never confuse a bad product with a good seller who just got stuck unknowingly with a dud. I value good sellers with kindly, respectful communication for the sales I consider and make and receive. However, you have committed bad communication without even selling me anything. I hope you can think about that reasonably, yet from what you've shown already, it's doubtful. Most reasonable people won't think bad about others without provocation from others. I wonder if you can consider how many sales you have scared off with aggressive policies that threaten shoppers. Bitchy. Mary, thanks for reaching out. Let me assure you, it is my utmost priority to make sure that when you visit any of my listings that you feel secure and safe. Every time I make a listing, I think to myself, what would Mary do? But then I remember, I run a business. If you have time to shop for a product and accept an offer by clicking accept, then you have no excuse to not pay for that order at the same time. It's immensely discernible that you have never run a successful business. 
I get tired of people who haggle me down, then me being kind enough to accept their offer, only for them to never pay. It gets very old. So Karen, please do me a favor, go be offended elsewhere. This world is tough and if words hurt you, then I'm surprised you've made it this far. Good luck in life and lighten up a little before you have a stroke over some mean words. You know, I don't use eBay often. My feedback score is not nearly as high as this Karen's. However, I at least know that you get notifications when it's time to pay for something. They send you an email. So their big spiel is exactly how this seller put it. They're Karening the fuck out. And our final one is from Hyacinth0788. So, I had resigned from my job back in November, giving the one month required notice. As part of my job, I occupy certain positions for clients that the company which I worked for serviced, and some of these required the regulator's approval for any replacement. It may take time, so I agreed to remain on these for around 3-4 to four weeks after my last day at the company. I was doing it without any benefit or pay. I also pointed out to them that I will be busy at my new job and may not be available for signatures, hence they should replace me as soon as possible. Despite this, they took all their time to seek approval. Around two weeks after my last day, I got a call from one of the staffs working there saying they need my signature in wet ink on a document that was urgent. My new job was in the same area as the old one, but we were working from home. I was going to the office on the day after and we agreed that I'll drop by to sign the document. Unfortunately, someone tested positive in my new job and who has been to the office. Hence the building was shut down for the next few days to sanitize. I informed the staff and requested him to arrange for the dispatch person to drop by at my place or to have a taxi drop by. This is reasonable as my new job regularly does this for docs to be signed in original. The staff checked with the relevant department and they said that I live quite far from the office so they cannot arrange for the dispatch person to drive there and a taxi will cost too much. FYI, I live around 30 to 40 minutes away. They requested that during my lunchtime I drive there to sign the document or I meet them halfway. I was very annoyed and basically told them that you need the document and not me and I'm not gaining anything from this. I also said that I do not work there and I'm just doing a favor and that for them it is too costly to send someone to my place for their business but then for what reason should I use up my petrol for their benefit? They eventually sent someone to get the document signed. I never realized people could be this way. Edit, a lot of persons are mentioning I worked for free. The positions I occupied required very little of my time. Otherwise, I would not have accepted, example, one or two documents to sign per week, which I did online. I also did not have much choice. Most leavers accepting this and the owners can be quite petty. They have lots of connections in the industry and I wanted to avoid leaving on bad terms. Before commenting that it was stupid or foolish to agree, please try to understand that sometimes we do not have the choice. Some employers try to take advantage of people and unless you have powerful backing, you kind of accept it if it's not a big deal. Otherwise, it might cost you more. Those bosses that, you know, end up having a sour patch if somebody leaves and tries to tarnish their reputation even though they were a great worker, they're really shitty bosses and don't even belong in that kind of position. But the fact that you were willing to kind of stick around a little bit to help these people, I'm sorry they weren't willing to help themselves after you were doing them the favor. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.